Good morning, friends. My name is Ariane. I am a luxury travel advisor based in Vancouver, Canada, and today I have woken up here in beautiful Rotterdam, the Netherlands. So unfortunately, we left Belgium yesterday. I had so much fun exploring Belgium. I really have to go back and spend a lot more time. Um, that's the nice thing about river cruising is that you get some great little tasters along the way and also cruising in general and if you fall in love with the place you can always kind of put it on your list that you want to actually return and spend some time there on land. So now we are obviously as I mentioned we're here in Rotterdam so today I actually am going to Delft to be doing a painting experience so really excited for that. If you didn't catch my Holland America uh, series. Holland America actually uses Delft on their ships. So in the dining rooms, you'll find Delft um, up in their Dutch cafe. If they have a Dutch cafe on board, they actually use Delft mugs. So yeah, really excited to kind of put everything all together. And kind of right across from me where we are docked is where the old Holland America offices were. So I'm going to I think I'm going to go check that out this afternoon as well, just to kind of put all the experience together, so to speak. So yeah, now it's time to go down for breakfast. So let's get the day going. After a light breakfast, we boarded our coach and drove to the town of Delft to visit Royal Delft. Before our tour of Royal Delft and the factory, we had time to peruse their extensive gift shop. We were then treated to some delicious Dutch apple pie and a coffee in their on-site cafe. Afterwards, it was time for our guided tour of Royal Delft and the factory. I found it such a treat to visit the Royal Delft factory and to see some of the artisans at work. We learned about the two different stamps at the bottom of Royal Delft porcelain. One is for the porcelain that is hand painted and the other is for the pieces that are produced at a higher quantity level and are a print. We were then given a tour of the new part of the Delft factory. We were shown some of the artistic processes and the equipment they now use to produce Royal Delft. After our tour of the factory, it was then time to paint our own tile. We could pick a design which they then transferred to the tile with charcoal to use as an outline. I should have actually just went with my own gut and painted freehand as I'm not a good painter by any stretch, but it was still a lot of fun and I was so happy to visit the Royal Delft factory. We 
We then headed back to the ship and had a light lunch and a few of us checked out some bikes to go and explore a bit more of Rotterdam. We made our way over to Holland America Key, which is the cruise ship terminal here in Rotterdam. And as the name suggests, it's where the old headquarters of Holland America Line is located. The old head office building was used by Holland America Line in 1901 to 1993. I was so excited to have visited here as just last week I was sailing on the Holland America Line's Konings Dam to Alaska. If you haven't watched that series, be sure to check it out on my channel. There are some art pieces that are interactive and a nod to the past, including this lost luggage depot. And if you actually saw this key from the sky, you would see letters that spell out Holland America. Unfortunately, I couldn't fly my drone here today as it was restricted airspace due to some type of special event. The old Holland America headquarters building is now a hotel called Hotel New York. Even the neighboring World Port Center has design elements of a cruise ship. On our way back over the river on our Avalon Waterways bikes, I stopped to take a quick video of our ship from the bridge. We then headed over to the Rotterdam Market Hall, where we checked out the cube houses and the market. The cube houses were designed by architect Piet Blom. His design represents a village within a city, where each house represents a tree and all the houses together a forest. There are 38 cube houses here in Rotterdam, and one of them has been turned into a museum where you can even take a peek into this architectural wonder. Next up was the Rotterdam Market Hall that was completed in 2014. Some refer to it as the modern Sistine Chapel of Rotterdam due to the extensive art piece on the ceiling when you are in the market. There are so many delicious things to try here at the Rotterdam Market Hall, so you can actually spend some time here and do your own food tour by hopping from stall to stall.
was then time to head back to the ship for sail away as we were going to sail the Rotterdam Harbour before making our way back to Amsterdam. We were in time for afternoon tea and after our little biking adventure of Rotterdam, we deserved it. Soon after, we joined the captain on the sky deck as we pushed off from the dock and enjoyed a narrated sailing of the Rotterdam Harbour from our cruise director, Hendrik. After sailing by the old Holland America Line head office, we sailed by one of her historical ships, the SS Rotterdam II, which has now been turned into a hotel. After enjoying our cruise of the harbour up on the sky deck, I went back to my room, got changed, and headed to the port talk. Tonight was the captain's gala dinner on board. We started off with a cucumber and yogurt amuse-bouche, followed by the dream goddess salad. And just before our soup course arrived, we sailed past Kinderdyke, which was such a nice surprise. After a few photos from the main lobby deck, I headed back down to the restaurant and had the Dutch white wine braised onion soup, followed by a lobster tail that was served with a parmesan risotto, and I had the beef tenderloin with a port wine sauce as my main. <laughs> Before dessert, all the crew came out for us to show our appreciation for the wonderful cruise we had this past week. For dessert, I had a profiterole and a lemon meringue tart. The dinner itself was so good. As the evening's entertainment was just getting started, I headed outside to take in some of the cruising of the river as this is one of the reasons why I love cruising so much. The water just relaxes me so much. And after watching the sunset, it was time to head in and watch the groovy gents rock our ship all the way to Utrecht. I can sleep awake anymore. It was so much fun and we all danced the night away. They were really good and actually played overtime for us, which was awesome. We then went through the last lock that I filmed and saw. I find the lock so fascinated and enjoyed the experience of going through them all.
friends, so I just returned to my suite and it is now time to say goodnight. We had a great gala evening here on the Avalon Artistry 2 and I am so sad that the cruise is really kind of starting to come to an end. Um, we're returning to Amsterdam tonight, which means we only have one more night after this one here on the ship left. So, yeah, it's, um, it's gone by really quick. <laughs> so I did end up dancing the night away. I really enjoyed the live entertainment on board. And yeah, now it is time for bed. Uh, it's 11.19 p.m. So I did pretty good. <laughs> Usually I'm in bed a lot earlier than this. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as there is still one more episode left here in my Avalon Waterways River Cruise series here for our Holland and Belgium active and discovery itinerary that I did here. So again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!